their idea of tolerance is just a rhetoric to tell us what we can think, what Lucky we can it. see, what we can feel, and what we can practice. Right. So, love the videos so call them out the for their stuff. duplicity. Yeah. Yeah. Call them out for their the double the standards. Can I just say, can I just say something? Yeah. Just watch it. Sorry, just think. I might disagree with them, but it's like... Uh, so basically, in the state... Clear about this. Should we be tolerant of an ideology that teaches that if a Muslim wants to become a Christian, they should be killed? Should we tolerate that? Should we tolerate an ideology that says that the, the, the very value of a Jew and a Christian is half that of a Muslim? Should we tolerate that? Should we tolerate an ideology that says that the witness of a woman is half that of a man? Should we tolerate that? The liberals want you to tolerate that. Should we tolerate as a Christian, the, Christ, the as Jesus a Christian, died on the cross? As a Christian, we should not tolerate injustice. Should we tolerate that? If we take that is silly. Me, brother, don't, don't, Should we tolerate don't that the troll. Died? If you honestly, Should we if you engage the troll, God the troll keeps going. Just focus on Should my we, voice, ignore the troll, we not move on and when and, he's suffocated, and, and he eventually will move on. He just has to get bored. One second. Should we not As do Christians, that? we have to take what the Bible seriously says about yeah, standing all, up against you injustice. You are the one who made the Muslim to be Islam like this, Islam teaches friend. injustice, you, yeah. and you therefore the we should stand guilty. against Islam. But, yeah, you are. The liberal progressives, you're just feeding him, you're Shut just up. encouraging him, well, ignore him, and he will go away. <laughs> if we take serious Seriously, what the Bible says about standing up against injustice, we have no choice but to stand up against this. That means that the liberals will call us intolerant. Well, as Christians, we're called to be martyrs anyway. So live the life of a martyr. Let them hate you for following Jesus. Let them hate you for being a Christian. But don't tolerate the intolerable. What do I want for this country? What, firstly, I want to say as a Christian that, that my concerns for this country are accidental to my concerns for the church. I have a concern for the church first, and then what concerns I have for the state are accidental to my concerns for the church. What I want for this country is for this country to be Christian. That's what I want for this church. This, I want, I want, I want every mosque to close. I want every Hindu temple to close. I want every atheist humanist society to shut down. I want the secular society to close. What I want is a Christian United Kingdom. The reason why I voted to come out of the EU was because the EU wanted to build a European identity that had no connection to a Christian heritage. And so I thought, well, if you don't want the Christian heritage of the Europe, then I don't want the EU. And I voted for Brexit. What I want is a Christian United Kingdom. That's why? my game. That's what I'm in for. Can I ask why you want that? Because? Why? Because I'm a Christian. Okay, so then why are you a Christian? Fair enough. So the question is, why am I a Christian? Because when I... Okay, bro. That's fine. Most weeks, yeah. Okay, we'll talk again. God bless. So why am I a Christian? It's a good question. It's because when I look at the evidence, when I look at the truth claims of the Christian faith, I find that the truth claims of the Christian faith correspond to reality. Let me give one example. Christianity teaches that Christ was crucified. A real person in history, Christ Jesus, was crucified. History testifies to this fact. There's multiple historical sources that all say the same. So Christianity corresponds with the evidence of history. Islam, by contrast, says that Christ was not crucified. So Islam is contradicting the evidence of history. So Christian claims are corresponding to the truth. Islamic claims are not corresponding to the truth. Because truth is that which corresponds to reality. And reality is that which is supported by evidence. When I look at the, the natural world, I see incredible fine-tuning 
to such an nth degree that I'm forced to conclude that it has a designer. And so atheists who claim that this occurred just by random chance are essentially saying that we can balance a we can balance on a pin a golf ball and on that golf ball we can balance a hair clip and on the hair clip we can balance a beach ball and on the beach ball we can balance a drawing pin and on the drawing pin we can balance a brick and on the brick we can balance a dog the kind of random chance that is necessary to allow for this entire universe with all its fine tuning to come about through accident is just beyond measure and so I find that the conclusion of the atheist doesn't correspond to reality but the conclusion of the Christian corresponds to reality and I can give example after example after example to other worldviews so in summary it's because truth has to equal reality reality corresponds with Christianity therefore Christian is true Therefore, I'm a Christian. Okay. And someone else might say that they've done the same process and found a different one. Well, I, I would be happy to dispute that with them. But certainly, Islam is ruled out. Certainly, atheism is ruled out. What, sorry? It contradicts history, bro. What, sorry? If, if, if all the evidence says that Christ was crucified, and then Islam 700 years later, by someone who wasn't there, didn't see the events in a totally different country, 600 miles away, separated by 700 years, talking in a completely different language, with no connection to anyone that was there, says completely the opposite to people that were there and all the people that immediately came after them from the region we can safely conclude that one conclusion is right and the other conclusion is wrong okay but if that wasn't the case the i don't know the evidence personally so like um, there's a lot of people who dispute the evidence as to whether it's actually accurate or yeah but, but, but the thing is do you, do you know how we do history teach me, teach me. So history is based upon having multiple independent sources that are as close to the times that they describe as possible. So first class evidence is video, like right now. However, obviously, there's question marks about how it can be edited. Shortly after this guy, yeah. So in terms of, in terms of the evidence, all of the evidence says exactly the same thing. Jesus Christ was crucified. So if you're going to come along 700 years later, separated by thousands of miles, and you have no claim to argue contrary to all the evidence except that this angel told me, then you're contradicting evidence, so you're contradicting reality. Unless an angel told me, because then you agree that if an angel comes to someone, they're speaking the truth from God. I think an angel would tell you what all the evidence supports. If why would it, why would an angel contradict all the evidence of history? That's the thing. Or more importantly, yeah. if what the angel is saying is true, why would all the evidence of history stack up against what the angel said was true? I can't actually say against it, but I don't know the evidence. I don't know the accuracy of the evidence. Well, th there is an obvious answer that the angel was lying. The angels can't lie, and you agree. So what does that tell you? It tells you it wasn't an angel. It was a demon, bro. Muhammad had a spiritual experience, but it wasn't of an angel of light, it was of a devil. Where's your evidence for that? I'll give you my evidence for that. So, my evidence for that is in the Bible. The apostles teach, one second, the apostles teach, the apostles teach, the apostles teach, the apostles teach, the apostles teach that even if an angel of light should teach another gospel apart from this that we have teached that Christ was crucified that Christ was risen from the dead that Christ is coming again if even an angel of light contradicts these things that angel is accursed it is cursed by God and we call angels cursed by God demons now all the evidence of history confirms that Jesus Christ was crucified. So why would there be any evidence 
to support a claim that was false if it was indeed false. Evidence accumulates in favour of truths, not against them. That's why we use evidence in arguments all the time, in everyday matters. When you're arguing about whether you owe rent to your landlord, you use evidence. Why? Because we evidence corresponds to facts, and facts corresponds to truth, and truth corresponds to reality. So if evidence and evidence and evidence is all saying Jesus was crucified, and then Muhammad says Jesus wasn't crucified, we have to conclude that Muhammad is wrong and all the evidence is right.